Wagner situation in Vermont is, is such that the younger generation just doesn't seem to want to do the jobs that are available on the farms. It's a tremendous amount of work. The hours are early in the morning and, and later in the evening and uh, that's hard to ask people to work that hard. These people want to do it. They're here, they're trying to provide for their families. We have built a system of agriculture in this country on cheap labor or labor that's not paid uh, to produce a product for corporate America so that we have plenty of food in this country that doesn't cost much. A lot of these people, you know, dairy farm is not seasonal work, but the nature of being a migrant worker is that you're always moving. Because of word of mouth, they found out that if you work in a farm in Vermont, you pretty much have stability. Our struggle in Vermont when it comes to migrant workers and foreign workers is trying to balance the needs in our economy for our farmers with the idiocy of national policy on immigration. The farm life in Vermont has become uh, a shadowy existence for many people. La verdad, the pueblitos son muy racista, la verdad. Many of them have uh, a, a bigger problems than other Mexicans in other places in terms of their mobility because they are more conspicuous. People ask us, why aren't you going and picking up immigrants? Uh, what does an immigrant look like? Does he look different than you or I? I mean, I, I'm not really sure what that, that looks like, but who are we to be picking people out based on their looks? You're going to criticize uh, Immigrate, immigration or immigrant labor, you know, just look back at your own, own tree, your own family tree.